Hi guys, here doing a play crazy tower. Uh, so I think we did a video before which went up online, so you might be able to find that. Their slides have now arrived, those monsters. Uh, turf is in and getting watered by the ground maintenance guys. So we're just building these. I think there might be another stage because these guys have got some small kids, but because of the design of having that spider's web underneath, this has got the vertical balustrades on. So we might need to look at doing um, proper balustrades, like the vertical ones going down, but all the way along the middle, rather than these horizontal ones. So originally we were trying to keep it a bit more open so that they didn't ruin the view from the, from the nice house coming down here. It just had a couple of lines of rather than just constant fences all the way around. Oh, beautiful day today, look at that. So, obviously I'm not going to go and get wet for you, but this is one and a bit metre tower, followed by, I think that's a two, two bridge, two metres two. For, and they're all one metre, I think one, two towers all the way around with that spider's web in the middle. The whole idea of the spider's web is that it gives you almost a cargo net experience in the middle of this tower. So that play space just grows even larger. So you've got these nets all the way around. And it means that the kids can then climb between the bridges and go across into the other towers. So this whole top layer becomes an extra play space. Then there's monkey bars and a bridge behind the tree. There's the climbing pole that we custom fabricate for our clients. Rock wall and cargo net behind here. So what we didn't want to do is duplicate this square thing around the tree because the tree isn't straight anyway. So one of the squares would have a bigger hole and it'd always just look a little bit off and a little bit off-centered. Um, so what we've done, as I say, cut it like that. These pictures on the drawing did originally get designed to come off the front, but they're now coming off the back. There's the climbing pole, monkey bars, bridge into another tower, rock wall. We've added a few handles on there as well. And now we've got the tube slide out the side of the playhouse with the plastic windows on there as well. So that playhouse completely waterproof. Um, but you can have, there's also like different options. You can either do another floor underneath the playhouse or we can do a floor internally in the playhouse. Playhouse itself can then have extra items, for example, a picnic bench, chairs, tables. Um, we've done fold down beds before for clients. We've done like a bench in there that opens up where you can put the toys and other items. There's all sorts of things you can do inside there. So this has got fireman's pole, tube slide, rock wall, climbing pole, cargo net, picnic bench. Um, and that, uh, that, that spider's web, it just, I think, finishes it off quite nicely um, because it gives those kids something just different to play on. And a rubber roof. What we've done with another couple of customers as well, is that rubber roof, put the rubber on first to make sure it's waterproof, and overlaid it um, with an AstroTurf roof which if you don't want it to be as visible and a big roof poking up in the sky above the hedges, it just, you got a big grass one instead. So some people like it, some people don't. I hope you like this video and the play set. It's taken a few weeks to sort out. And as I say, we are, I think moving on to like stage two with the customer, which is just adding some extra items, which is gonna consist of um, I think a sunken trampoline and then a trim trail as well is going to, I think, probably come down here behind the swings, behind our van and go around where that, where that gate is. So it just allows the other bits. Um, again, our swing, just make sure we're not getting wet here. Our swing unit, always make sure your swings are built properly because it's, it's the worst thing, it's the weakest thing because it's got so much movement. So we use this big metal bracket in the top corners, four inch solid timber. 
the wood goes in and holds itself in nicely and then the swing is held in as well. It stops any twisting, stops any movement, stops anything else from actually shaking it about. I think kids are only, I think they're two and a half or three, three and a half maybe, four. So they're not, they're not the biggest, but I hope that gives a good demonstration as to what, what we do for a lot of our customers what you can what can happen these slides are the upgraded version as well that is two and a bit meters off the floor up there but underneath these towers you can do options i.e picnic benches sand pits um, you can just put a solid floor on there and buy a separate sand pit if you want to put a plastic one in there um, what else can you have in there benches you can have little cabins you can have a picnic bench uh, with a sand table built into it as again these balustrades if you don't want lines and you've got smaller kids we can continue this balustrade all the way along and we always put our balustrades in the middle of these fence posts and it always makes it a lot lot stronger so i hope you like our set click in the links below like and comment if you want say hi and we'll try and get some design for you